Hey everyone! It's already time to set up our bullet journals for June. This month, I'm going to be doing a theme based on a Chinese drama that I've been absolutely obsessed with for the past three months, and I'm still not over it. The drama is called The Untamed. I had a lot of fun watercoloring last month, so I decided to watercolor again for this month. If you don't want to sit through the watercolor time lapse, feel free to skip ahead to the actual setup. The first thing I want to point out about The Untamed is the amazing OST. I was in love with it so much that I decided to learn two of the songs on my flute. The first one that you hear right now is Wu Ji, or in English it's called Unrestrained, and I'm going to cover Yi Nan Ping, also known as Inappeasable, towards the end of the video. I recorded this song on my phone, so I apologize for the not so great sound quality. I haven't played my flute in about 5 years, so cut me a little slack, but I really wanted to share it with all of you. Flute is one of the hobbies that I've been trying to pick up again while we've been in quarantine. Also, everyone give an amazing shout out to my mom for learning the piano part to this song for me. Not only were all of the actors phenomenal at acting, but some of the actors also sing the tracks on the OST. Like Wu Ji is sung by Xiao Zhan and Wang Yibo, who play the two leads Wei Ying and Lan Zhan in the drama. This drama is set in a world where the characters practice cultivation, which is a mix of martial arts and some mystical arts. Then it follows the growth of the friendship between the leads as they work to solve a series of murder mysteries linked to events that happened in the past. It will make you laugh and cry, but it is so, so worth it. I'm going to try my best not to give you any spoilers, but I think the explanation of this will make a lot more sense if you know the characters. I'll place a note in the top left corner before I begin each spread letting you know what clan or character the spread pertains to. I won't lie, but this drama is very confusing at the beginning because they throw you into the middle of some action and there are a ton of characters that you have to organize in your head including where they're from and what sect or clan that they are part of. But once you get over that, the plot is really interesting. Just a side note, but I'm going to be using the words clan and sect interchangeably, but I'm pretty sure that there's a distinction between the two in the drama. When I was planning out this month, I envisioned painting the scenery from the live action. I thought that the drama was visually appealing, and they really did a great job with the digital rendering of the landscapes. One of the leads is from a place called Lotus Pier, and the other is from Cloud Recesses. I wanted to incorporate both of them into the cover page of my journal. With this first painting, I sketched out a scene in Lotus Pier from the drama where the leads are on a boat. It's probably one of the cutest and most emotional scenes in the drama for me personally. I chose to draw bunnies to represent the leads instead of people because I have yet to even try and attempt drawing people. For all of you out there that are able to draw people, I seriously think it's amazing. Anyway, bunnies appear in the drama as well and are a motif for the leads. I sketched the bunnies based off of a photo I found on the internet. The bunny on the left represents Lan Zhan, who is from Cloud Recesses. All of the members of their sect wear these headbands and tend to wear white to signify their clan. The bunny on the right represents Wei Ying, who is from Lotus Pier. He ties his hair up in a red ribbon and tends to wear black. Other than that, I filled the page with lotus flowers and lily pads, but I left the top blank because that's where we'll be lettering the name of the month later. After finishing the painting, I decided to use my fine liners and tombows to outline the different objects. As this was my first full page painting, I wasn't fully confident in my ability to make hard edges with the brushes. In the end, it came out looking more like a cartoon, but I really love it. For the next watercoloring, I wanted to paint a mountain that was hidden partially by clouds to represent cloud recesses. I found a tutorial on YouTube that I'll link down below, but I changed up the colors to match the Lotus Pier painting better. Honestly, this painting was a lot of layering in order to get it to look like how I wanted it to. Especially for the mountain itself, I wanted to get it to stand out with more color, so I kept slowly adding drops of paint to get it to the correct shade that I wanted. One thing I like about watercolors is the fact that if you mess up putting some paint down, generally you can take a tissue and soak up the paint that you misplaced. I definitely used that a couple times throughout this painting to redo some parts. As you can see, I kept returning to add color to the mountain many, many times.
In front of the mountain, I added a bend to a river coming from the mountain and then added a bunch of plants and trees. I tried to use a stippling motion to get the correct shape for the plants. It's okay if the shades of the leaves are different transparencies as that will help to give your plants depth. Overall, I really liked how the painting turned out and the only thing I wish I had done a little better was the shape of the mountain ridge and maybe working on the plants in the foreground a little more. For a first time painting though, I think it came out pretty well. I ended up cutting off the borders of the painting so that they would fit in my journal better. After that, it was just taping it in. I decided to do a monthly calendar for June, mostly because there were a lot of different things I wanted to include for this theme. Both of the leads play instruments as one of their weapons. Lan Zhan plays the Gu Qin, and Wei Ying plays the flute. The design for these instruments came from the Dong Hua, which is the animated version of this story. When drawing the calendar lines, you'll see, but I actually miscounted where I drew one of the lines. I was thinking about redoing it, but I figured that it wasn't terribly noticeable. I think one of the downfalls of using rulers is that you can't always tell what's underneath, so when I'm not careful, I tend to not line it up correctly. I could have used one of those transparent rulers, but I personally like the metal one best because it has a cork underneath it that prevents it from slipping and it raises the straight edge off of the page so I don't have to worry about smudging the ink that gets on the ruler as much. Okay, enough of my ruler tangent. You can probably tell, but obviously I didn't draw these instruments to scale at all. I added on the tassel that's on the flute and drew out a cloud design on the guqin. I wrote out Wu Ji, which is the title song that the lead actors sing together. Yes, I know my Chinese looks like a kindergartner wrote it, but I'm trying to learn. I finished it off with this music note washi tape that I got a while ago. I almost forgot to draw the strings of the Gu Qin, so I went back in with a white pen to add the strings. On the expense page, I drew out an apple and then an alcohol bottle, which both have significance in the drama. Apple comes from the name of the donkey that Wei Ying rides. Wei Ying actually gives the donkey the name Xiaoping Guo, which translates to little apple because the donkey is stubborn but moves around quickly when fed an apple. Wei Ying also really likes drinking alcohol, so the alcohol bottle was drawn to be the bottle that he really wanted to drink while in cloud recesses. My habit tracker page came out looking a little bit like a scene from Tangled, but in The Untamed, there is a really pretty lantern scene where a lot of the characters are gathered. Together, they set off lanterns while making wishes for their future. I think that this scene was really beautiful because it also gave you insight into the disposition of some of the characters. I colored the lanterns different colors, but I chose to go back and re-outline them in a darker shade or a different color. I also used a bright orange highlighter as the flame for the lanterns.
generally when I do my weekly setups, I draw them nearly identical because it lets me finish them quickly and I don't have to think too much about how I want them to look. But not this month. I mentioned earlier that the leads were from two different clans. There are a total of five main clans in the drama and I wanted to do a weekly setup based around each clan. The first clan is the Jin clan. In the drama, many of the members of this clan are good at archery, so I included a target and also arrows for the header of the days of the week. I also brought back the mini calendars that I've used before, and I highlight which week is currently on the pages of the spread. The header that I used is not my own design, but one that I found on the internet. The only thing I added to the arrows was the red dot at the end of the arrow. All of the members of the Jin clan have a vermilion mark, so I wanted to include the red dot. The setup is representative of the Wen clan, but also partially the Ni clan. I actually couldn't think of anything for these clans as a whole, but one of the characters I love from the one clan is this little boy named Ayuan. There is a really cute scene with him where he gets some toys from a market, so I drew out those toys. I started off with toy swords for the headers of the days. I made them single-edged sabers, which is the weapon of choice that the Ni clan uses as opposed to the double-edged swords that the rest of the clans use. I finished this off with adding two more toys around the calendar. The first is one of those spinning helicopters made out of wood, and the second is a hand-woven butterfly. Side note, let's queue up the next flute piece. Enjoy! This week is based on the Lan clan, which is the sect where Lan Zhan is from. I already mentioned it before, but all of the members of this clan wear these headbands ever since they are young. Since they live in cloud recesses, you can probably guess, but their representative symbol is a cloud. One thing that is cool about this month is that it really pushed me to get out of my comfort zone and to draw more. Usually I'll just fill the empty space with quotes or song titles, but this month I drew to fill the empty space. I finished the spread off by adding the blue color of the headband to highlight the days of the week. Finally, this week is for the Jiang clan that lives in Lotus Pier, which is the sect that Wei Ying grew up in. The characters tend to use talismans to ward off evil, and I wanted to include something of that sort. I thought that this little paper doll that Wei Ying favors would be perfect. He has the ability to attach part of his consciousness to these dolls, and then to move around as the paper doll. Other than that, I just finished the spread off with some more lotus flowers, and I went back in with a pen to outline the petals. As we get ready for the final flip through of this bullet journal setup, I just want to say that you should definitely go watch The Untamed right now. I'm watching it for the third time around already. But really, thank you for listening to my little ramble about how amazing this drama is. You'll definitely fall in love with the characters. It's truly worth it for all of the actors as well. 
Even with the frustrating antagonists, you have to appreciate their skills in acting. Let me know in the comments if you've watched this drama or if you're planning to watch it in the future. Follow me on my social media to stay up to date with everything I'm up to, and I'll see you all next week. Bye, friends!